we still have partial phi partial y that's just uh, our u and multiply with du dx and du dx is going to be substituted uh, into is going to be the, 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 this is alpha partial phi partial y minus theta times y times this right can somebody check my substitution here and I'm going to minus uh, a d phi dx which is substituted as this d phi dx substituted as a uh, uh, alpha plus theta uh, times phi minus the, 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 the theta y times d phi dy so this is this is my d phi dx and times the second derivative of phi to y so this is the convection term now right all right <coughs> so this is equal to ue times due dx uh, plus nu times the third order derivative of y which doesn't have to change all right so one thing to note here is there is a cancellation of uh, one term so let me mark it with uh, with a different color so let me mark it with green because that's really nice so this term, we have d phi dy, theta y, and second order derivative of phi. And also this term, we have theta y, first order derivative of phi, second order derivative of phi. So they cancel. And we are only left with alpha times partial phi partial y square minus alpha plus phi times phi times second order derivative of y is equal to the driving uh, to the driving term u e dx okay and uh, uh, plus new times partial cube phi partial y cube okay before we go any further let's Let's try to also look at uh, this term. This driving term is a driving is a is a is term that is a term that comes uh, as an input of the equation. But nevertheless, it has an x derivative term, right? So using the same argument as our self-similar solution, what is how should U E change? So if we if we looked at uh, from the last page that my u at any location when I move in the x direction for delta x it is scaled by b. How about u e? U e is just the velocity at the edge of the boundary, right? So if I increase x by a delta x, how should u e change? Still, huh? Is it still u e? Still U E or it's also scaled it's by scaled. Yeah, it's also scaled by this B or one plus epsilon prime, right? So that means if you if you substitute U uh, with U E, of course U E doesn't depend on Y, right? So the Y derivative is gonna be gone. So if you but all the other terms stays, which means that due dx has to equal to alpha times ue and it's the same alpha agreed right so so that is ue times alpha square because due dx is basically alpha times ue 